Yo, what up, guys? I am Krillin189, and this is the uh, fifth episode of the Zcast. I'm here joined here with my co host. Yo, King Piccolo Z, what's up, everybody? How you doing? How you living? And we got a bunch of gaming news to round up on the weekend roundup of the Zcast gaming news. So sit back and enjoy and watch us play Halo Infinite, fell maybe win a few matches. And just sit back and listen to our soothing voices as we guide you through what's been going on in the gaming week, gaming news this week. That was right. And uh, Tenrai is actually and, having a brand new event as well. Yep. And uh, first one up on our list is, uh, rumor is, there's going to be an Oblivion remaster and a new Doom game called Doom Year Zero. Dude, I, I so much love Oblivion. That was one of the only... Elder Scroll games I ever actually finished. I'm gonna tell you right now, I do not like Skyrim as much as I like the Oblivion. Really? Skyrim could suck a big old show when it comes to Oblivion. Oblivion had far Oblivion superior is, is storytelling. Oblivion had far better storytelling than uh, Skyrim never did. Yeah. In my opinion. Yes, they were running out of story. <laughs> it, it, dude, it was huge. And, if, you, um, if you really want to talk about huge maps, Arena, which was the original original Elder Scrolls, that and Daggerfall had one of the biggest maps ever. ever. Daggerfall had the biggest map, one of the biggest game world maps ever. But ever. there is one called Elite Dangerous that's got the biggest map ever. It's the entire Milky Way galaxy. Oh, wow. In actual <laughs> retrospect of actual distance and everything. Sheesh. Like, it's so big that you can fly to one end of the space to other, and it take over 72 hours. What game is this? Uh, Lead Dangerous. Oh. King of the Hill. Hmm. It's got the biggest game world ever, and there will never be a game bigger than it, because it's the entire Milky Way galaxy. Jeez. In one and one scale, bro. We're talking life-size scale. That's pretty wild, the man. Enti our, our, our entire solar system, the whole galaxy, our entire galaxy that we live in, is mapped out in this game. That is, that is so huge. You'll never beat it. Hmm. Yeah. And also, uh, I got some uh, historic news. Uh, so, um... Did you know, uh, do you know what the perfect score in, um, Pac-Man is? What's that? So it's 3,333,350 score is, is how much the perfect score is. To get a perfect score, crazy. keep in mind, keep in mind you cannot die. Basically, and you have to get every power up and kill, eat all the ghosts and all that. Oh, well. And I... And I think I've only made it at, as far as 1.3 million on the arcade machine. I really like um, the uh, Pac-Man uh, Championship Edition. That one was really awesome. That was my favorite. Honest, my favorite Pac-Man is Miss Pac-Man, the original Miss Pac-Man. Yeah, that was a good one too. Yeah, but yeah, was a really good I, game. I remember, I remember where I was when I got that game score. I, uh, I, my, my mom had to go to the laundromat and I went with her. Oh, yeah? So what happened is they had a Pac-Man machine and a Miss Pac-Man machine. So I would play Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man. And one day, I think I spent like $20 worth of quarters and I got 1.3 million score. Got him. Oh wow, my I think my very first introduction to Pac-Man was at Pizza Hut and they would uh, have the Pizza Hut um, game nights or whatever or they was just sitting there whenever you could play them and they had like the little joysticks on each side and the LCD screens that you had to look down you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I got a yeah, blast Yeah, so those were awesome You may, you may, you may reminisce uh, Remember, uh, uh, Chuck E. Cheese? What was it? Chuck E. Cheese. Oh yes, I loved Chuck E. Cheese back in the day. They had the and best Dave games. And Busters. Oh my goodness, say less. Dave and Buster's was worse. Like that at. was my heaven right there yes. dude, back in the day growing up. Dave and Buster's was a legit. 
I, I, I think I like Dave and Buster. Oh, nice like stick. Chuck and Cheese. Yeah, I, I did too. Because it was a lot bigger and, you know, more games. It was more right. adult themed. Not adult adult, but, you know, it was more for, like, teens and adults than children. And the pizza was better, too. Oh, yeah, dude. For sure. Like, the pizza better. from Chuck E. Cheese is like that, uh, cafeteria plastic Enemy cheese. Pizza. Yeah. Chuck E. Cheese is okay, but, I mean, when it comes to, like, real food, Dave and Buster's is where it's at. Because you can actually get, like, burgers and wings there. All kinds of good stuff. Yeah, but if I'm going to a place like that, I'm having a pizza party, bro. For real. It would be cool to hook up and, like, hey. go to a Dave and Buster's with you. Dude, that'd be pretty sweet. They have all kinds of racing games, and you, know, you actually get to sit down in them. Control. Which, I mean, Chuck E. Cheese does too, but I mean... Oh, I got stuck. Okay, never mind. I'm good now. <laughs> Point defended. Yeah, um... I remember those old places like that. That was fun. Oh, watch out. Behind you. Yeah, those are our childhood, man. It was pretty awesome. Pretty awesome times. Yeah, so on to our next Your point of uh, gaming news this week. Uh, apparently, there's been a huge Le Xbox leak. Yes. I mean, ma it might be the biggest leak in gaming history ever. Really? You think so? Yeah, yeah. That's what a lot of people or a lot of journalists are saying is it's probably the biggest game in... Uh, Jeez. That's horrible. And apparently it's like, what, years and years out? Up to like 2032. Oh my gosh, that's that's terrible. So, there's evidence to support that a new Series S and X console with a brand new controller with <laughs> new features. Apparently the new Series S will be all digital only and have a 2 terabyte SSD in it. The new Series X kind of looks like a Mac Pro. Like the Mac Pro that people thought looked like a trash can, it's mm. cylindrical shape. Yeah, it looks like a motor, cable modem almost. Yeah, and then it's got a USB C a port in the front. Hmm. As far as I've seen on the pictures, um, I wonder what kind of hardware is in there, and like, uh, you know, chipsets. I don't know. And... They, uh, apparently, they're, they're not going to improve the chipset mm. or anything. Apparently, they're just going to quality of life it. Hmm. They're not gonna like make it like a pro system or nothing like that. Nice, spectacular. But, uh, but it, apparently, it's it's uh, also gonna ha come with a new controller, and it looks like at the bottom of the controller, where your D-pad and uh, microphone and stuff plug in on the bottom of it. And yeah. That, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, where you could plug in the chat chat pad at. Yes. Um, it looks like. Uh, Right there, it has a screen there. It's what it looks like with notifications and stuff. Oh, that's really and cool. And it has new features on it, and it will also be rechargeable with no battery packs required, and it have haptic feedback. So kind of like... haptic feedback. So kind of like the and PS5. It will, it will be like... No, it will be like the Switch controllers, the Joy-Cons, because apparently this is also has on it where it says you can also use the vibration for audio. Really? Yeah, they have the feedback with audio. Yeah. Isn't yeah. the PS5 controller the w first uh, one that introduced haptic feedback? It is. Hmm. They're kind of, you know, taking a play out of uh, Sony's playbook then. Well, it's going to have a different kind of haptic than they have. Oh, right okay. <clears throat> I mean, that's pretty cool, man. And yeah, I mean, I probably won't buy it. Oh no, I mean. But it, it is cool that they're gonna upgrade the memory of it and everything like that to two terabytes. And I've been, I've actually oh, been seeing now stronghold. Now, if it ends up being cheaper than this original Series X, it might be worth it. I've actually been seeing uh, PlayStation Five and uh, Xbox Series Xs in Walmart now. Yeah, me too. Which is crazy. That's where I crazy. got my Series S. I got my Series S at Walmart, and they had yeah. the X too. Bully world. But uh, also, the, uh, there's been a new Yakuza uh, ch 
or like a dragon trailer and it looks incredible it looks like it's going to be a fun game as showed in the trailer that you could freaking punch a shark right out Dang. Just square up just that's hilarious square up with the shark and punch him right in the nose and knock him the fuck out that's hilarious and I, like i remember in one of the other yakuza i think it was yakuza 2 or yakuza 3 there was uh you could literally punch a freaking majima punches a freaking tiger in the face is ours. Stronghold Charlie lost. Enemy team score. And it looks fun. It looks amazing. And I'm going to enjoy it. It's going to have that traditional turn based Japanese RPG fighting system from nice. the, uh, like a dragon, uh, like a dragon, uh, the new, like a, whatever the leather, like a dragon was. I forgot what it's called. Yeah. With Ichiban in it. Hmm. And apparently the next uh, Yakuza game and Judgment and stuff like that are going to be coming to uh, Game Pass. Okay then. Yeah, those games are awesome, man. The Yakuza games? Yeah. Have you played them one before? I haven't, but like after seeing the trailers and everything like that, they look really good. Dude, they're on Game Pass. Like I know. One, two, three, four, five, six, and all of them, right? Uh, and like a dragon. Um. It's also on there. Dude, how much does, uh, how long does each one, um... So the first one took me about 25 to 40 hours. So you want to start with Yakuza 0 first, right? Yeah. Because that's a prequel to the first Yakuza, which is Kiwami. And then Kiwami 2 is the remaster of Yakuza 2. Oh, wow. And then you got Yakuza 3, 4, 5, and 6, which is Song. And then you got, um... You got, uh, you got, what's come, uh, Ishin, like a dragon Ishin, which is coming to get the game pass also. Dang. Sometime this year, or ne beginning next year. Which is, go it's based in, like, 1800 feudal Japan. So you get to really? play with swords and guns, yeah. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, instead of fighting with just your fist Donald and stuff. Lost. But, uh, Score. yeah, the, the... They, they're pretty fun games. I recommend checking it out. Nice. I think I might have to do that. Oh. The enemy has captured Charlie. Because they always look something like I'd want to get into. They don't have English voice acting. They're all in Japanese voice acting. Oh, yeah. That only makes sense. Alpha lost. Uh, there's a lot of reading in it. <laughs> hmm. Because not everything is voice acted. I mean, that wouldn't bother me. But the cutscenes are voice acted, but you have to read them because they're all in Japanese. There's no... Right. That's all subtitle. English voice acting. Yes. Yep. So you get the true, like, actual Japanese yeah. experience. Yeah. Dang, there's two on me. That's uh, pretty cool, though. Yeah, and, um... There's a new update on the Unity runtime fee uh, issue. Uh, oh, devs really? on it say that the trust is gone, but the hopefully they gone. change change that because a lot of games may not come out under the Unity, or they may just switch to Unreal Engine Five. Hmm. It makes you wonder. Yep. And uh. They revealed Division 3, by the way, which really? is a really awesome third-person looter shooter, Tom Clancy looter shooter. Um, yeah, and uh, they revealed it, but uh, it's probably going to be a ways off before it comes out. Like, I, I bet it like a couple years at least, hmm. if not more. Yeah, Tom Clancy was always really good. Uh, you remember Siphon Filter for the PS1? I remember, I had all three Siphon Oh, games. dude, that game was so awesome. It almost was like, um, Metal Gear Solid. I better better than I, I, I hate Metal Gear Solid. Everyone's like, oh, Metal Gear Solid's so good. <laughs> Screw you. The first two Metal Gear Solids were the best, okay? The first two, I don't so like care after if you that. say, oh, the third one, the third one's like the best. I don't care. The first two original ones were the best. Yeah. Fight, I, I will fight you on that. Like because, on the PS1? Uh, I believe the first... The first two were the best, in yeah, my the opinion, story-wise. Yeah, control. PS1 has, like, one of the best, uh, exclusive ever. Your team 
Got it. I mean, besides uh, yeah, Nintendo it, and Yeah, stuff, the Division so. 3 is going to be pretty cool, I bet. And pretty fun. Because the first two were fun, you just got to have a co-op partner to play with. Really. Wow. To enjoy the game fully, you got to have someone to play with. Well, yeah, that's understandable. But, uh, there's also a rumor floating around about Bungie's new game. Oh, really? What's that? Yeah, you want, you're want you gonna laugh at the code name. The code name of it is called Gummy Bears. <laughs> code name Gummy. Yeah, and it's gummy. gonna be powered by... It's gonna be powered by Unreal Engine 5, so I'm curious what a game by Bungie that's code name Gummy Bears is going to be about. If it's going to be a shooter with teddy bears? Maybe. That would be kind of cool. That would be funny. Like a violent shooter with teddy bears? <laughs> That'd be almost like Conker's Bad Fur Day's so multiplayer. That would be pretty cool too. Dude, I wish they would bring Conker back. Conker was one of my favorite platformers of all time. Yeah, that one was a good oh. one. That and, uh... Yeah. Play Fighters was fun. Clay Fighters, yeah. You know what's funny is they rated that like one of the worst fighting know, games right? of all time. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember having so much fun with Clay Fighters, yeah. dude. Clay Fighters 64. For real. Nice. Yeah, that was, that was a good time, man. There was a lot of good games back in the day. They just don't make them like them they used to anymore. Nope. And on a funny, weird, funny note, Elon Musk said on Twitter he wants to be in Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah. Joke's on him, though. You want to know why the joke's on him? Because Phantom that? Liberty is going to be the only DLC that comes out for the game. Oh, right. Dude, we gotta talk about that Payday 3 issue. Like, real talk. Hey, we will. Um, apparently I'm not the only one that uh, thinks that Starfield is one of the most boring but that's the games ever created. I haven't played it yet. I haven't got around to it. It's Ky Kyle Hill uploaded a short video of him literally running three or four minutes on a planet and there's no life on it. Nothing to explore. <laughs> it's just wow. a dusty moon planet with nothing on it. 10 out of 10. That's such 10 out of 10 riveting gameplay, oh my no. god, and people want to argue and be like, Well, that's what it's like in real life. Yeah, but it doesn't make a captivating video game, dumbass. <laughs> that is so true. What, what is wrong with you people? Oh, I want a space simulation game. Good, make it, go, go, go. Go actually go to space. Go actually go to space. Go play, go play something else, like, uh, Starfield sucks. I'm sorry, it's boring. And if you don't agree with me, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it's, just, it's just the most boring ass Bethesda game, and I. What about worse than Death? Well, I, uh, UPS dude, Stranding. I went to Fallout New Vegas went recently, and I thought, oh, this is empty. And then it, you come to an empty spot, and it's like, oh, there's a rad roach there or something. It's like it's something always to kill, or something always to explore, or see, or new something new. Yeah. And then Starfield's like. Here, here's the thousand planets, and half of them are empty with no life and nothing to do on them. And wow, that's such riveting 10 out of 10 gameplay. <laughs> I just can't believe. I'm just holding on the edge of my seat. Also, I can't s stress how crappy the freaking system for flying around and shooting is. It's unwieldy on the controller. It sucks. It's it's hard to get used to for me at least. I don't know if I'm just ex inexperienced with flying games or what, but I think it's crap. Controls. I think the controls are crap. It's got a lot of glitches in it, and people still want to call it a 10 out of 10. Don't call a game a 10 out of 10 when it's got glitches. But but that's the creation engine. <laughs> yeah, it's 10 out of 10. Crashes every hour. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm 10 out of 10 game if there isn't stuff to keep you occupied. No Just optimization. Just empty planet isn't, isn't riveting gameplay, I'm sorry. That's hilarious. That is so funny. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, that's, that's funny though. Yeah, you should check out Kyle's short of it. It's funny watching him walk from one end of the planet to the other in four minutes, and there's nothing on it at the end of the video. Well, that's it. That's all there is to this planet. That's terrible. Wow. It's there's nothing on here. He was like, he was at, like yawn, you know, like <laughs> wow. Stronghold Alpha lost. Your team scored. Yeah. Hey. And uh. On a brighter note, there's a new Lord of the Rings game Ooh, really? uh, called, coming out next year, I think, called Tales from the Shire. It was just revealed like a couple of days ago. Nice, nice. I love me some Lord of the Rings games. And I don't know what it's going to be because it wasn't much to... It didn't show gameplay. It was just a trailer. Um, I, here's something on my note that I remember from my childhood and I'm excited for. The What's Toxic that? Avenger is getting a freaking reboot. Oh, wow. The Toxic Avenger movie is actually getting a reboot. Dang, that's pretty anyone cool. That doesn't, anyone that subscribes to it... You may not remember the Toxic Avengers. You may not even heard the Toxic Avenger. It is like a B-rated, uh, mm. it's like a a C-rated movie by oh, Trauma cool. Film Vil, Films. But I love the Trauma movies. The campy but fun and funny. <laughs> like uh, from uh, Nukem High. Oh yeah. Plus Nukem High. That was a good movie. Campy but good. I bit. love all the Trauma movies. I don't care if you judge me and say, "Oh, that's bad taste." You got bad taste. <laughs> you just don't know what good, good campy fun is. <laughs> there, there's a difference between a, a bad movie and a movie that's made to be campy on purpose for the sheer sake of them having fun, and they had a lot of fun making those movies. Yeah, that's true. And uh, new information on Switch Two. Yes. It will probably have HDR HDR in it. Hmm. And uh, bad news for Sony today because Sony was hacked with ransomware by Ransom Ooh. VC, and they said on this leak site, both the clear and the dark web, they said we have successfully compromised all of Sony systems. We won't ransom them. We will sell the data due to Sony not wanting to pay us. Data is for sale. The group adds before declaring we are selling it. Dang. That's crazy. So we don't know if it's we don't know if it's like users' credit card information. We don't know until Sony investigates it further. You don't don't know if it's game releases. They have like four, six thousand um different like documents and stuff or something like that. Slideshows or something or presentations or something. So it's probably just leak games and stuff like the Nvidia leak and stuff like that and the Ubisoft leak. And they did the smart thing where they're like, yeah, we're not going to pay you because if you pay the ransom, they're just going to try it again. Yeah, exactly. That's the problem with uh, giving in to people like that. It's the same thing like as uh, you heard on movies like America says, we do not negotiate with terrorists. You wouldn't know <laughs> well, something that's real. And America yep. does not negotiate with terrorists. For, for real. Unless, unless just like recently where... You know, they do prisoner exchanges, you know, and stuff like that, but, you know. That's the only time. Yeah. But it isn't like Can ransom you know with money. Right, right. Yeah, I know what you're getting at. Like, it's it's some kind of similar, but it's kind of different at the same time. Right. Alright, now on to the payday three. Oh my goodness. Wow. I mean... So disappointing. Yeah. We play we it, played it, it one really match. is a disaster. We beat, first, we beat the first level, we got a hundred and twelve thousand dollars. And it was fun though. First, and it was super fun. It was actually fun. But it was so it was late in the night, so we didn't really feel like playing anymore because it took like twenty, thirty minutes to complete just one level and we were getting tired because we're old. Because <laughs> we're old. And we're getting older, and uh, grandpas, as the Gen Z want to call, would call his grandpas. But, um, yeah, um, nice. It's it, kind of crazy. It was fun, though. I, I really think it was fun. Yeah. I really enjoyed it but, myself. But its servers keep going down and stuff. Because, like, every time someone, si uh, 
every time someone quits the game, someone's or as soon as they get the servers back up, people start joining, which crashes yeah. the servers again. I don't know, man. Like every time we tried to play a match today, it said matchmaking was unavailable, and it's really unfortunate. We waited like 20 minutes. We did, legit 20 minutes. Not just like you know here a minute here a minute there. You know what I mean? Like legit, like 15 right. minutes. We waited and, and talked. Like Spawn, Spawn Wave said it could take and our GT. 20 minutes. Your team. He said the game was a disaster. It is, but the sad part is the game is so fun. It is. I think it's fun anyway. You know, I don't have I any real gripes about it other than, you know, other than the wait time. That might have been why it was, uh, that might have been why it was, uh, glitchy too. Yeah, it was buggy time. too. It was buggy in the game as well. Um, that might have been why. I don't know if it was just underdeveloped or the servers are, are crashing. The servers are always online. I mean, when you have an online only game, you kind of, you know, get that, you know? Right. I don't know what these people think are thinking, you know, releasing a game that's only available off, online. I don't know why they didn't stick an offline mode at launch like they did with Payday 1 and 2. Well, see, we didn't, I didn't play Payday 1 or 2. I don't know that most people, me neither. So I don't, I didn't really know what to expect. But what I did play with that one match was really well, I seen chaotic, hectic, it was fun. Too, so. I seen gameplay of Payday 2, but I never played any of the Paydays until the new one. Right. I haven't either. Enemy team scored. And I heard they were pretty good. They are. The third one is super fun, it's awesome. It is. But, uh... And the cool thing not is... Being able to play the game, not being able to play the game is what's killing it. The cool thing was like all the customizations you can do, buy masks, buy outfits, um, customize outfits and customize masks, um, buy new weapons, you know, it was it was full of all kinds of customization and stuff. And there's only like a couple of modes though that you could play, that's the thing too. There's only like maybe three or four oh. modes. Yeah, that's the whole point of though. Yeah. I mean, one of them was just the heist, and the other one is, uh, you know, uh, looting a truck or something like that. Truck. But you have been kind of excited on how to do, how we're gonna do that. Are yeah. we gonna be able to get out, out and shoot at the vehicle, or are we gonna be able to like high speed chase, shoot I mean, the vehicle? I don't know. And the sad thing is, the player count is super, probably gotta... gonna drop off before people get to it. No, it won't, because it's purely a co-op game. You don't think so? No, there's always going to be people. There's going to be people come back when it gets fixed. Yeah, same thing with Halo Infinite. You know, look how long we waited. Well, we played it since the beta. We did, and it was fun. We were one of the first people that get invited to the betas, for sure. Like I remember, I I remember you were at work, and I go, yo, I got yes. in the beta. Check your email. Yep. You're like, I didn't get in the beta, and then it was nope. the last day, and you got in the beta. The last two days of the beta, yeah, and I think fun. you were able to get in. And then they even had the uh, the uh, campaign you could play for free, temporarily, on trial. Hmm, carito kun. Wow, I got danked on. All four of them were there. <clears throat> I can't believe that. The best, the wow. best game that I'm up, up, coming that I'm excited for is Budokai Tenkaichi 4. Oh, yes, please. That will be a day one purchase, and it will be a day one, uh... Oh, for we sure. We will be doing a Z-Cast on it. Yes, it we will. It doesn't matter if we can play co-op or not. If we have to fight each other, we don't care. Yeah, that's gonna be amazing. I don't even know when it's releasing, but they didn't give it a release date yet. Nope. Next year, I think. Which means we gotta save up and, uh, and get it. Yep. Hopefully I won't be homeless by then. <laughs> what you mean? Hill control. Sheesh, man. I'm going through a bunch Your of stuff. Yeah, well, aren't we all, man? For real. Like I had, to, I had to go and fill out my disability determination thing again, and I'm hmm. sitting here worried if they're gonna even keep me on disability or not. 
And I can't work a normal job. Wow. That's unfortunate, man. That's crazy that life happens, you know, to everybody. Because of my bipolar and PTSD, I can't work a normal job. Yeah, man. And my so back. Insane. My lower back is getting worse. It's starting to hurt more. Jeez. Yep. Mm. After I got hit by that car a couple years ago. I I remember I still did a Z couple we still did Z cast and I had freaking bruised ribs, remember? I you remember I was like Yeah it did and you're like, what's wrong? It's like like everyone was like on, on my uh, videos they're like you're breathing hard and stuff. It's like yeah man, I got freaking <laughs> broken or bruised ribs. It yeah, hurt. That scooter that you're on, right? Yep. Jeez. Would you believe I, I had blood in crazy, my man. eye? Dripping down down on my face, my my face was bleeding out like a stuck pig. If dripping down on my eye, I could only see out of one eye, and I made it a whole mile back to my apartment with a flat tire. Jeez, man, people don't care. I would have sued the guy. Didn't know who it was, and I think it caused me brain damage because I have short term memory loss now. I can go and so I can't even read a, enjoy reading the book, bro, anymore. Mm. I, I can read manga because a manga is shorter, right? I yeah. can stick with it. But a book now, I can stick with a book like Dreamcatcher I've been reading for three months off and on. And I have to go back and read what mm. I used to. I never would have to go back and read. I could just memorize, summarize in my yeah. brain the major plot points, the parts up to what I've reached in the story. And and continue reading and enjoy story, but now it's got so bad after I got hit by that car when my head bounced on the pavement, and skidded Jeez, across the pavement, man. that I think it caused me short-term memory loss and some brain damage. <laughs> and I I can literally read a book, put it down, and five minutes later forget everything that I no just way. read. Everything. Yeah, yeah. I'm just serious. I can listen to a podcast oh, or a YouTube video, and if I don't write that, like, so the reason. How I get the gaming news every week is I look it up on websites and stuff and I write it down mm -hmm. notes and put notes because if I don't I will forget everything and it's happened a couple episodes mm. where I forgot everything that I searched and I spent like six hours one time searching it. Jeez, man. For crazy. all the gaming news, man. Yeah. Like I said, I, I do this for free. We do this for free, so all the views, all the new subscribers are much appreciated. For sure, dude. And it's comments, very much appreciated. Too. We enjoy comments. We we we'll would never love get you guys any, to interact. We would love you guys to interact with us in the comments. Like, honestly. Yeah, we'll never get any comments. And, like, if you don't think we respond, comment in down below in this video with something. Like, what's your. Ask us a question or something. Like, what's your favorite gaming moment? What's your favorite. For real, episode. What is the most obscure. How about this? What is the most obscure game you can remember playing from your childhood? Ooh. And, and as you can ask us something that strange in the comments, and I can guarantee you, you will get a response from yes. one um, of us or both of us. us. We are not sure. like all the other YouTubers. Yeah, we definitely would respond. We do respond. Because when we did those giveaways, everybody everybody, every, everybody yeah, was in the comment section was, and everybody was responding. I was, it was so much that I had to uh, be the uh, uh, the watcher and I had to be the commenter while you yeah. were streaming, remember? <laughs> Yo, that was such a fun time. I had to monitor I had to monitor that was the such chat a fun time. and respond like, when they said thank you and stuff. It's like, no problem, man. You're welcome. Yeah, some people didn't, you know. But we do. We really do want yeah, all you sure. guys to comment in there. And I will, since, even though I can't make videos on the Series S on my channel right now, doesn't mean I won't go on Piccolo's channel and respond to you guys if you ask a question. Yeah, we sure will. Mm. Just like get involved, like seriously, yeah, like real. we want the community to get involved with us, not just watch the video, like yeah, ask us exactly. questions. If we yeah, don't comment, care if it's subscribe. like a question like we don't care if it's a question like how's your day going? Yeah, we will we'll respond. That's that's who we are. Yeah, we will take the time out and make you feel appreciated. Yep. I actually care. Or if you guys want to ask, uh, 
you you got a game ask us if we got a game or you want to play with us just yeah that would be awesome that would be really cool have like a uh, like we'll a interaction out a way to, we'll figure out a way to slip you in our uh, discord <laughs> slide in them dms <laughs> and we can all uh, we can uh like party up yeah that'd if be you, cool if any of you subscribers want to party up and play with us on a co-op game or yeah we would halo or what minecraft dungeons or whatever or just let us know what game you want us to play like we as soon as payday 3 gets fixed yeah we're done on or that server stay up stable enough we will definitely be bringing it for some sure, gameplay. For sure. and hopefully hopefully Praise to God that Texas Chainsaw Massacre enables crossplay soon, or that game will die, and we won't be able to bring you any awesome. Yeah, uh, I've been looking forward to that too. I was so excited for that game when I was now. So I'm like, oh, dude, there's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre game coming out, and you get to play the killers against other people that are survivors. I was like, how awesome is that? Yeah. Like, that was going to be one our first game back when we, when we came back was the Texas Chainsaw right. Massacre. Yeah, I don't know, from our break. You know? Yeah. That, that was going to be one of the games we play, but we, we've been enjoying some Minecraft Dungeons now. Yeah, we did beat Minecraft Dungeons. Finally beat uh, it. Story mode. Got some awesome it weapons. Like, it took us, like, probably about 30, 40 hours, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was maybe pretty fun. Probably about I'm 15 kind of hours, to it. <laughs> I'm give or take. I told you, man, once you get into it, it's hard to get out of Minecraft dungeons. Yes, I'm, I'm stuck in the dungeon. <laughs> Dude, if, if they've made a second one... A second oh, yeah, I'd be it, on it. Would, and it, and it wouldn't it. be on Game... If it didn't come on Game Pass, and it was full price, $70, would you buy it? Ah, uh, 70 no, Knowing... No, Knowing that it would have be bigger roles, more more, DLC, more weapons, yeah, more weapons, more that. mobs. I could see that. I really could. Yeah, like, I could definitely I don't see think that. It, I don't think it would be seventy dollars. I think it would be more closer to fifty, but yeah, forty-nine, fifty-nine. I would be down, especially with the DLC. Like, if anyone knows anyone from Mo Yang. Ain't that's it. Or uh like like please make a sequel to Minecraft yes, Dungeons. We played the heck out of it. And we're still playing it. We will Yeah man, we will we will like buy all the DLC and <laughs> everything because like the game is just so much fun. And if you guys wanna, you know, we're not begging or nothing like that, but if you wanna make a donation to the channel you know, the link is always in the description in the video, you know, that we could, way we can, you know, share the split the funds and then we can bring those games to you. Double kill. Defeat. Uh, defeat. Dang. But yeah, man, I think that sounds like a good plan. It's a new game I wanted us to try, but I'm not sure if we could play it together because since they're on PC and it will be on Steam, but it says crossplay and per cross platform. It's called the First Descendant. Hmm. It's a third person looter shooter that's kind of like Outriders, but you're in space too. Okay. But you're you're fighting. Uh... No, it's hard to explain. Hmm. It's, it's, I played I played some of it, and it's actually not bad. It's pretty fun. Oh, that's it's got great reason. grenade launchers, rocket launchers. It's got uh. It's got sniper rifles, shotguns, armor, all that stuff. Hmm. But it but it has a, like a tower esque thing from Destiny Hub World. Very nice. It is. It is pretty fun though. I I will say it's pretty fun. It's a free to play uh, looter shooter. Hmm. From Nexon Games. Well, yeah, it's in beta. it's in open beta right now, so Okay then. Well what you think, man? Yep. 
think uh, I think we had a good one. Talk about yeah, some gaming news guys, and you know, let you guys hope know you what's, guys enjoyed what's up. this video. Oh yeah, me too. I know I did. You guys seem to enjoy the last video because it got a tremendous amount of views for yes, us. Yes, appreciate that very, very much. It's, it's, it's getting there, you know. Yeah, keep up the support. We're low, more low grade uh, content we're creators. All YouTubers. <laughs> we're all YouTubers. Yeah, we, we don't give you no stuff. We don't, we don't. We don't give you none of that shenanigans that other YouTubers like. Hey, man, you know, or you clickbait titles. We don't do that. Ten percent off on uh, Astros or whatever. It's like that's yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah, we don't clickbait either. What you see is what you get. And I, I understand that that's how you got to make bank, but at the same time, it's kind of like begging. Yeah. For views. Yeah, we give it to you guys straight, and I, you know, want you guys to do the same to us, you know, with uh, the support and, you know, the recommendations of what you want to see. And uh, we'll go from there. Yep. Yes, sir. Well, it's been fun, Krillin. Yeah, it's been fun, man. Yes, sir. Until I next time. I, and hopefully next time, guys, you'll see Payday 3. That's right. Or another <laughs> Minecraft episode. The DLC. Exactly. Oh. I figured, we figured you guys are getting bored of the Halo Infinite gameplay, and we figured we'd mix it up, which is helping. Yeah, it, it is. It helps break up the monotony of it. For real. <laughs> Plus, I wouldn't want to watch someone just play one game. I don't even want to watch Dr. <laughs> Disrespect play <laughs> Call of Duty 24-7. <laughs> that That's facts. Like, I get bored of watching them play one game. It's like, you play, watch Dr. Disrespect play Call of Duty. It's like, yep, he's going to win. He's yeah. Dr. Disrespect. Or, or PUBG or whatever he's playing. He, he, he's uh, into playing golf now. I don't oh, know my you, God. I don't, I don't know if you've seen his more recent videos, but he's been playing yeah, golf. Actual real world golf or golf game, video games? Video golf video games. Oh, my God. <laughs> The Doc Slay now, yeah, the golf course. Dude, 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 how's he gonna slay on golf? I have no he's idea. The God, he's, he's the God, Codfather, so I mean. The Codfather. The two time. Dude, he, he freaking helped develop like some of the maps of Call of Duty, oh, yeah. remember? Absolutely. Like he used to work for Sledgehammer yep. or, uh, or one of Treyarch them. or. Uh, yeah, definitely one of them. Infin and I uh, know. I think he worked for Infinity Ward on the multiplayer uh, maps. Some of the multiplayer right. maps. Yeah, so it's, I definitely un I know it was one of those because he. I remember him talking about that before. <laughs> this guy's a genius. He's good at what he does. Yeah, he is. Yeah, man. Well, guys, this has been King Piccolo Z with the Z Cast, season four, episode five. And I'm Krillin, 189. And uh, you guys have a good night. Until next time. See ya. Peace.